I love when you come here. Thank Thanks. you for you continue coming back and you just sit here and we well, just chat a little chit chat yeah, sports you know, and, it's and fun. life and, and life in and general. You had to show Judge, of course, crucifying the ball as he does, and he terrifies me. He's He terrifies well, you. Well, yeah, as a as a Red Sox fan, he's pretty terrifying, and so is that entire lineup. I, I I think every single one of the of the nine have twenty home runs, right? That is correct. Yeah, First team correct. to ever have twenty home runs from every spot in the Think about the being a, pitch, a pitcher facing that. That's just misery. But the Red Sox usually <laughs> you we, can know, get, we can get into this here, despite terrible. you wearing your Edelman jersey, which we'll get to in well, a second. Hey, Red Sox, you know, Knicks. is the is the fact that the the Red Sox know how to pitch these guys though. Normally, yep. and last year when they were facing this this team as a young team, and Brockman, you can attest to this fact. They know exactly how to make these guys chase. They throw yep. high in the zone, and a lot of these guys trying to, as you say, you know, crucify the ball, and and they swing through it. I mean, that red, the, just the way the Red Sox play baseball scares Yankees fans too, and I guess that's what makes it a great rivalry. That's the right? greatest thing in the world. The fact I hate seasons where the Red Sox or the Yankees are lacking. It's it's never as good as when we face each other, right? I mean, it just is better. And especially when you have, I mean, how many teams in the history of the game have have won 102 games and are in second place? Right, right. I, I, do you have that? Well, stat? this is the first time that the Yankees and Red Sox have ever faced each other in the playoffs, where both have won 100 games. I, I mean, they're both magnificent. They're both he healthy coming into it. The interesting thing to me is that they the t the, uh, the actual games between them all year haven't been really good. I mean, they've been blowouts. They've been sort of one sided blowouts for the most part. And they haven't been that interesting. It's like they start tagging somebody and they, you know, and then they just have a batting practice day, you know, mm -hmm. uh, just bomb the crap out of the other team. But I don't think that's going to happen now. I think well, this I is going to be a war. It was uh, damn near, well, I mean, 19 games, the Red Sox won 10, the Yankees won 9. It really yeah. was right down the middle. And oh then God. it was funny. I follow Pete Abraham, who covers the team yeah. for the what the the Globe, right? Yes. Okay. He tweeted out during the game last night: Luke Voigt is the odds-on candidate to charge a mound during this. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, and I, I, yeah. I, I tweeted him back. Oh, you know, only if not if Joe Kelly behaves himself. Yeah. You right. know, like there's going to be something oh, that happens here. Yeah, that, there's that some keeps us watching. Right, especially. there's that that rivalry is alive and well. It seemed like it waned, especially after we won a, a handful of championships. But now it's alive and well. We're hating on each I, other. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be so it great. Really, and it's I, I so kind of like the fact it's five games. I like the fact that it's 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 more of a you do? tight crucible. Yeah, I do. Ooh, more pressurized. That's for sure. Well, I like yeah. that. I like that it's five games. That it's right out of the shoot. I like the fact, in all honesty, uh, that it's all the pressure's all on the Red Sox, yeah. that they could be one and done, which is exactly the way a Yankee fan wants to do this 108 well, win of course team you like after that. 2004. See, see, no, but, after 2004, right? after being after being taken out like that. Yeah, I got it. I totally that get it. Now would be a a great piece of revenge. See, that's all built in vengeance. You just said it. True. You're, Spite. Oh, you're yes. a spiteful human. And you're not. Yeah. And you're not, even though I introduce you as a sweetheart. You've got uh, it in you. Come on now. You don't want it. You don't want this so very bad. Oh my God. But you know, <laughs> it's easy for me to say now that no seven is the proper way to do it because then you're gonna see the a real representation of who is the better team here and you have gonna yeah. but all of what you say makes yeah. sense for a Yankee fan. And, and also, <laughs> if I may continue. I'm so glad the numbers are even right now. I know. Oh, my it's God. It's so great. It, it, with Del Tufo being the yeah, Yankee yeah, fan, yeah. too. Right. Yes. If I, may I continue go, on with go this? Go on. Because with a, five well game series, with a five-game series, fifth being the decisive game, the way things are set up, it's going to be David Price versus the Yankees. Oh. And that is usually, more often than not, oh. a... Come on, feast, a feast, a Derek Jeter homering off of oh, David man. Price. At Yankee I Stadium, though. He is feast. terrible at Yankee I Stadium. I thought we had a thing, Three, Richie. Three thousandth hit home we run. Were, but he wasn't pitching. For, he wasn't pitching for us then. What happened to the love, man? That, oh, there's still love. Like I'm, you just introduced me with all that love and everything. I know. And now, it's still love. What's uh, the over under on Judge Stanton strikeouts this series? It could be very high. Because, like I said, the Red Sox know how to pitch these guys. And they want to chase the high stuff and so do, bad. And, and Sanchez batting eighth. 
Or Ooh. this could be the moment that they all gel together and off the end. But Andrews who's going to be Scott Brocious? Who's going to be Aaron Luke, Boone? Luke it's Voigt. Like, Luke Voigt. You guys mm-hmm. always have those guy, one guy that always killed us. Gary Sheffield, Hideki Matsui used to always get the well, big guess what? hit. JD back in Martinez the day. is that guy for the Red Sox right now. Against he's the never Yankees. been in a situation like this, though. He's well, never faced this type well, of pressure. Just you wait. Just you wait. Well, I think see. he's going to be terrific. Right? I mean, I, I hope so. Too. Obviously. He seems to have ice water in his veins, man. Yeah. I think he's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he's a baller. Where are you watching it? How are you taking it in? By yourself, with your family? Home with friends and family. Yeah. We, we have our, you know, like tonight, I have a bunch of knuckleheads from New England coming over the house <laughs> to see Edelman return. We do this. We, you know, there, there's a bunch of us here. Do you serve uh, New England? Uh, Clam chowder? Yes, that's what, <laughs> chowder? Bubs? Yeah. Just, do, do, do you do that? Uh, Is it a theme? Is uh, it a theme? No. No. It's just we do not invite Yankee or fans. I'll <laughs> tell you this real quick. I'll tell you this real quick. So last yeah. night, last night. Okay, I'll tell you Go this story. On. This all is right. great. I watched the game last night uh-huh. with my kids. Right. Okay, and they were all over the place. I was watching it too. And I've got two puppies. It's just insane in my house right now. And I'm trying to focus, and it was not very uh, right. easy. Uh, my my wife Susie wants to make sure everything's fine as she was going out with friends last night. Okay. okay. So she made me uh, before she left some like turkey meatballs and kale. Kale that we've grown from our own backyard. Okay, I like that. Okay. okay. And the kale, despite her washing it very well, ended up having gritty a worm in it. Oh, <laughs> oh that's worse. So then we washed it again. Did you put the worm in the tequila? I ate the dinner, then found yet another worm <sighs> later on. Oh. And the so- reason why I'm telling you this story is I told Susie this as she laughed when she came home. Serves me right for eating kale during a Yankee playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right? And, you know, kale, well, let's face it, it was not, never meant to be consumed. By you know people. what I mean? Like, so that's why I ask you about if themed flavored food is that, you know, you got to. We keep it you know simple, I mean? like, but we don't go for, you know, it's not like I serve chowder. I mean. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> what about a, lo- a lobster roll? A lobster roll. Lobster uh, roll kid. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.